Hi, I'm Justin with the Limiglow. Today we're going to show you how to cut and connect parallel EL tape properly. So let's get right down to it. So the things that you'll need are a soldering iron and solder. You'll need your EL tape, some crimp connectors, an easy snap connector, some heat shrink tubing, a pair of wire strippers, a pair of scissors, and a battery pack to test it all. When you buy EL tape from Alimaglow, we include a male and a female end on each piece of tape, which allows you to connect multiple pieces together seamlessly. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is cut a little bit about an inch off of your EL tape. This will ensure that no moisture or debris got inside. Peel back the 3M adhesive, and you'll notice there's an uneven split between the lines. Essentially, you have a positive and a negative here. It doesn't matter which is which, but you just don't want them touching. And you'll notice because one end's about 95% of the way over, it is gonna be a little bit difficult to connect, so you have to have some precision with this. You're gonna break off two pieces of your easy snap connectors and place them over the wire like this. Take your pliers and crimp down on each one. You should hear the crimps going through the DL tape. Break off the tab that's holding the two together and you should have a nice strong connection there. So before you solder your easy snap connector to the tape, make sure you put the heat shrink tubing on it. Next, hold your easy snap connector in place and dab the soldering iron so it makes a nice connection. Take your other lead and do the same. And at this point, you should have a nice connection area. Slide your heat shrink tubing over the top. If your tubing is a little bit too small, you can shave off a little bit of the outer plastic. And take your heat gun. Can't miss the area. This will help hold everything in place and make your connection area stronger. Lastly, just need to test it to make sure it works. And that is how you solder EL tape.